gonna take some pennies. I have ten pennies. Aluminum foil and some Epsom salt. These are ten pennies made out of zinc. So that means uh, two thousand or newer you can use. So what I'm gonna do is get a piece of sandpaper. I'm gonna scuff these up a little bit to reveal the zinc coating. So add just a little bit of distilled water in here. Mix that up. This is magnesium sulfate or Epsom salt. This is gonna act as an electrolyte. Next we're gonna cut 10 pieces of this cardboard about even length, about the size of one penny each. Alright, next, make sure your pennies are all scuffed up real good so that they're all shiny now, at least some parts, so that they can get good points of contact to the zinc surface. Take all the cardboard pieces and put them over here and your electrolyte that you made from salt. If you don't have Epsom salt, you can use, substitute it with some vinegar and or lemon juice and I'm also going to add about one teaspoon of vinegar to this substance to help it's not needed or required but it will help with current so I'll be back and we'll put one teaspoon of vinegar in this and let those soak For the next part, take out the multimeter, see if we can get a reading on something here. Um, so I can prop it up so that y'all can see. We're gonna get one of these out. This is gonna act as an electrolyte. Put that down on your little pole. And go ahead and place one of the pennies that you scuffed up. Positive lead to the aluminum foil down here, and the negative to the to the top. All right, so here we are back with the the zinc cell that I'm working on. So the aluminum is going to be in the negative. Then we're going to have the electrolyte cardboard, and then it's going to be at the zinc then another electrolyte and then repeat and this is what let's see what kind of reading I'm getting here off this cell getting about half a volt from this one not a good connection right now but there you see it 0 0.50 half a volt exactly so here you go put your aluminum down piece of electrolyte zinc And you want to be careful that this doesn't touch. So you want to trim that up better to fit your piece of zinc. And we'll get a reading on that too. You can see that that's 0.58. That's over half a volt. 